MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. Hope the ceremony for Officer Davis hasn't started yet. Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. Here on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong! Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> Or, maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Not honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so... so? I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? Um, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery. Above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. 
Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes? I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass. I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer.